<laughs> Welcome to Living 757. It is so good to see both of your beautiful faces today. Oh, we got beautiful faces. Hold on. How do you, you do it? <laughs> right. It's actually nice to see you guys. I missed you last week. We yeah. missed you too. Oh, yeah. No. Yeah, you took some time here, off everyone. and relaxed and everything. And, yes, and then, I need um, less jealous. You no, know, no, don't, don't be jealous. Now, <laughs> don't be jealous. Um, so so uh, we're like three months, almost four months into the new year. I realized that um, my New Year's resolution, I have not been keeping up with that, uh, with not forgetting things. And so I just wanted to be on point, on camera, and ask okay. you, please tell me I didn't forget your son's birthday party. I remember you were talking about it and, and, and I see the stuff in text messages. Well, here's the thing. So, you didn't forget Adrian's birthday. Okay. You forgot my birthday. Yeah. Yes. Adrian's birthday <laughs> is April 10th and he's going to be 48 months old. 40, what oh, do you mean by 48 up. months hold old? Hold what do you mean? If I 40, do the math, that's four. That's, the boy is going to be four. Like, what? What's, 48 what months? What do you mean what? Why, Why are you, you counting months? months? I saw people doing it on Facebook. So it's actually and, a thing. I, I guess that's but what I thought. But four years old. Like I, I believe that Adrian they do that be when before four. they one year they, they call it months, months, one month until to reach out. Chloe's seven months. months. Okay, stop Chloe's with the months. Okay. Wait, well, wait, no, no, no. But that Chloe, yeah, acceptable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chloe that would is make acceptable. Sense. Seven months. That's what I'm talking about. But I, when you turn four or five years old, you don't say, "Oh, he's 54 months." Y yeah, that's a little. So, is that going to be you? Like, is that what you going to be doing now for the rest of Adrian's time? <laughs> I mean, is counting months. Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it just it just seems like that. Okay, all right, so. Like, no, there's a lot of math that goes into it, okay? That's where my head is I going. mean, <laughs> uh, it's so weird because it's like you see people posting uh -huh. and uh, they'll be talking about their kids, right. like what's going on, and it's like 120 months. Hashtag 120 months. Wow. And you're like, your kid is 10. What do you mean? Exactly. Oh, so, That's what I was trying to make a point. Hold up. So these are the people that celebrate the, it's called a month of... Month of -versaries. Month of -versaries. That's what, okay. So that's, that's the thing. That's How like, long have you and Sabrina been together? Uh, we've been together for about 27 years. 27, 27 years. years. And actually, yeah. you just celebrate 25 so years of stand comedy. So that was... Three hundred twenty-third month anniversary. You, you met Sabrina first. Oh, tell me, uh, tell me, let me get the. What month is it? Three hundred twenty-three. You just figured that out. Three hundred what? We don't even okay. know if that's right. So he's right. Actually, <laughs> She's, uh, do, do you see numbers in your head or something? Is that? Yeah. So when I hear a math problem, I kind of envision it, and I can like do math in the sky. Okay. So then do this math for me. He just celebrated twenty-five years of standing comedy. So how many right. months uh, will be? 25 years. <laughs> so 25 years. 299. 299 months. You give Congratulations, me? Quincy. For two, yeah, my 299th month anniversary of telling jokes. Month of telling jokes. comedy, telling yes. jokes. Oh my You've goodness. been funny for 299 oh months. Oh my gosh. That's wow. actually, okay. cool. Well, <laughs> That's you, actually you know, cool. Yeah, well, uh, so. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, Listen to people in our ear. Producer Megan's in our ear. She's like, funny looking. <laughs> you okay. know what? Nice one, Megan. No, okay. I'll see you uh, later. Literally. So, Ashley, how long you we been friends? Just the three oh, of us. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. We've been so, friends. So, we're coming up on our five-year anniversary okay. in uh -huh. September, that's right? Okay. Um, So, that would mean... Five years would be 60 months, and then well, if you the six, 60 months, no, it will be 62 months. Let me do no, it's because it's October. So okay, no, six, 60, six, so 61 months. It would be 55 months that we've been friends, but y'all probably thought it was more like 53 because you didn't think I liked you when we first met. <gasps> True. So but so it would be 55, hey. it would be 55 for you, and like, yeah. hmm, 50, 51 for you. <gasps> it took me oh, another wait seven wait months to be. You, are you? Wait, wait a minute. We you math is off. I only said four months different. Well, you, you know, know what? You know, I never said it was. How did I get? 
<laughs> you know what? That it's was all a joke, good. by the way, people. Yeah. That was a joke. I love him. Oh my gosh. It's not a joke. Yes. What also isn't a joke, uh, <laughs> continue with the theme of celebrating birthdays. We got to give a shout out to uh, the Virginia Zoo. Yes. They are celebrating one of their, uh, uh, it's like a special type of monkey. Let me get this name right. This is an endangered species called a siamung. A siamung, baby monkey. He's uh, He'll be celebrating. Look at that little bitty. Oh, <laughs> that so yeah, look at that little baby. <laughs> oh, there he is, right, right, right there. Oh they, are, they are just flowing through these pictures. Have, like, you, have you ever been baby. to the Virginia Zoo? Uh, maybe it's, once, it's, maybe. Yeah, me too. Yeah. It's been a long time so for me. So those are the monkeys that when you're walking through the zoo, you hear them like, oh, oh, ah. <laughs> like can that. we get a tight on her face when she does? Oh, because we, yes, 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 yeah. Now do it again. Do it again. Do it, come on, come do on. Again. <laughs> come on, you are on TV. <laughs> you are on that camera. <laughs> I think she can communicate with it because she did it pretty good. <laughs> she said, oh, ah. Well, you know, the ooh, ooh, ah, ah is celebrating, uh, <laughs> he's getting ready to celebrate one month of existing. His one month of existing. One week? month, oh, with, which yes. is like 30, 30 days. Uh, anniversary? 30 a 30 days, day anniversary? 14 hours. Well, wait a minute. It, oh, God. There's 31 oh, we're not days going that deep. Oh, it's 31 God. day anniversary. Oh, my goodness. Day is 31. Okay, you are serious on this whole month day. Okay, well, happy birthday <laughs> to you. I don't know if he has a name, but I'll just call you Sia Mang. Sia oh, Mang, yeah. that's his name. Uh, and also, while we are talking about the Virginia Zoo, mm -hmm. uh, keep in mind, spring break is coming up for a yep. lot of students in this area, and they want you guys to be aware that there's a pre-registration uh, timed entry for spring breakers. So yeah, if you guys are going to come gonna out, it's going to be a lot of people, so be a lot of people. your pre-registration. Get online. on out there. That's right. And while you're going to the zoo, you also can enjoy these local artists that they're doing like the colorful traffic signal boxes. Do you guys hear about these? It's nine artists that mm -hmm. they get a partnership with a with the Norfolk City. Look at that, how beautiful it is. Oh, wow. And they uh, create these colorful traffic signal boxes in Norfolk so you can See them all the way if you take Princess Andrew and Virginia, Bo Virginia Beach Boulevard they on the north side. They used to be called side. defaming property, but now... Look at, but look at that. That's, They're very creative. Wow. I think it's so unique and so awesome. Wow, those Lakers colors. Yeah. yeah. Kudos, cool. kudos to the city of Norfolk. I love it. Yeah, Put so, some colorful there, you know? Yeah, you know, and kudos to anybody that just goes out and does not If you're going to do it, <laughs> do it right. Don't just go out there and yes. just start painting stuff on there. But those, that's some no, pretty talent. these nine artists that I work uh, with. It's a lot of today. talent. Yeah, it is talent, of course. We have a lot of talent here. In yes, we do. we do. And if you're going to the zoo and then you're driving around looking at the traffic boxes, you should also stop at Handsome Biscuit. Do you guys know what's going on right now? Nope. As far as the well, handsome part? <laughs> well, you know, it's part. that time of year the NCAA college oh, men's basketball brackets are going on. <laughs> and there's also a different kind of bracket for the best biscuit in the South. Ooh. Now, Handsome Biscuit, I don't know if Yummy. you've been, but oh. they have... They have amazing biscuits, and one of theirs is on this you bracket for the best biscuit. Oh, nice. wow. It's called the Hella Fitzgerald. It's fried chicken, bacon, cheese, and gravy. It's making me hungry just saying it, y'all. Uh, so get it, ooh, get yummy. out there and vote for Handsome Biscuit Got right you. here in Norfolk. Now, there was a time where ooh. I could have won the award for Handsome Biscuits. But that's not the same type of biscuit. So you were talking <laughs> about a family show. It is family. I didn't say what the biscuits were. That was Well, yours. I love biscuits. They're <laughs> so delicious. <laughs> that didn't flow right at all, Patricia. My handsome biscuits. Well, they're yummy, though. We're talking about... <laughs> it's getting worse. We're talking about biscuits. So, you know, that Love sandwich it. is named after Ella Fitzgerald, yeah. who is also from the 757. Nice. So I love that they do that there. Yeah. I love that they named their sandwiches after like people from this area. Yeah, oh, you I know, and um, so and now obviously last month was uh, Women's History Month. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. you know, so cool. It's a late shout out, but cool. I mean, now, um, as far as like making like things, okay, I'm mm -hmm. just, I'm just kind of throwing a wrench in this whole thing. Like, I cannot make biscuits well. I've tried the little poof. <laughs> That whole thing, <laughs> and you, you know what I'm talking about, the pop. Yes, like yeah, pops, the, it, can, the it, kind where you like peel it you and then you put a spoon and, and then it pop, like pop. pop. I yeah. never get to finish it because it scares Why? me so much. I gotta. Oh, you you get scared of the. <laughs> boom. Yeah, poof, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> I, I don't even want to cook the biscuits anymore. I just thought I asked like, biscuits. do y'all get afraid of this? Literally, biscuits. all you have to do is. 
pop the can and put them on and a, put it in the oven. Put them it's on super a pan. easy. Oh, so when do you butter the biscuits? Before or after? The instructions say if you just read what them. What do you mean when do? Nice. She got me if I just read the instructions. Okay. Well, I mean, some, <laughs> some biscuits don't, don't even come with instructions. instructions. But do you want to hear something interesting that okay. I found out okay. that I did with Keith and the kids? Is you can take some of those biscuits, like the buttermilk flaky biscuits. Right. You can pop the can. You can take something small and cut out the middles. And then you throw them in an air fryer, like after you spray them with Ooh. some kind of cooking spray. Ooh. And at the end, you dip them in powdered sugar or, you know, cinnamon sugar, whatever oh, kind of sugar you like. And you have donuts. Ooh. So we hungry right now. Right. And I like, ooh. Don't, hold up. Oh, you don't. You just say my, hey, my no, check work. this out. Now, you done transitioned me into donuts. Did you hear that there's a fast food restaurant that has the, um, the two M's or the two arches, uh, they're gonna start selling the uh, craziest donuts in the world. No. Are you serious? The, the hot sign donuts. Are you talking about? The hot sign donuts, yeah. yeah. So you're yes. talking about the golden arches are about to start selling the KKs. Yes, uh, they're gonna start selling. We're the, talking in code because yes, <laughs> right. we're not even getting this Because they're not sponsors <laughs> of us at all, but yeah, that's pretty cool. Now, I wonder but if, if we can But if y'all can get... decipher that, then. So yeah. I don't think I'm gonna choose that row. I will still go with KK if I wanna Got you. eat donuts. I just wanna L -L -L. ask if we can get Karen from Cooking from the Heart to make us those donuts. Ooh, mm -hmm. that would be awesome. Yeah. 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 Karen, if you're listening. Right. Y'all ready to get hype <laughs> yes. for this show right we now? Are. <laughs> yes, All right, y'all ready. I got to sit down with Justin Timberlake's official tour, DJ. Oh, yeah, and we're going to be visiting with our friends from the um, uh, bath the bath source. Yeah. That is right, and also One Culture is going to be performing for us later on the show. But coming up next, party in the front and... Well, it's business in the front. Oh, and <laughs> so party, party in the front. Party in the front. Party in the front. Party in the front. Don't back. go anywhere. Biscuits. Right we See, think of biscuits. You too. Welcome back to Living 757. Now, local businesses are truly the backbone in our community and our next guests. They believe in fostering a deep connection between both the community and the environment. I'd like to welcome to Living 757, Leah. We got Molly over there. We got Matthew, the guy that's about to get his hair chopped off. Well, not really chopped off, just a couple of, <laughs> couple of parts of the hair, right? I didn't exactly. want to scare you. So I got to ask you, um, now we clearly see that, um, you know, Matthew's in the barber chair to get his hair cut. He's going to get a mullet, like one of these modern day yes, mullets. Yes, What does that have to do with this big event that you have coming up? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> you know just what? Kidding. That's what I think. I'm kidding. Oh, okay. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Detail. So we are going to be raising money for Back Bay National Wildlife Refuge. Okay. So with that, we are going to be doing a mullet contest, and oh. people put they pay to be a part of the mullet contest, and that money goes towards Back Bay National Wildlife. Ah, yep. so guys, got you a lot of giving back to the community now, yes. Matthew. I got to ask you, don't be nervous because uh, she's already started the cut, so you can't go back. Yeah. Okay. Um, so have you ever rocked a mullet before, or uh, is this your first time? I've been going towards that direction. I'm slowly bringing the fade up a little higher, and this yeah. will be uh, fully leaning into the mullet look this time. Okay, business in the front and party all the way in yes, the back, sir. right? All right, okay, so uh, Leah, got to ask you now, as far as uh, helping out the community, there's usually always an impact, okay? Yes. So can you talk about some of the positive impact that, that, that your organization has had? So with Bloomstock, the whole meaning behind Bloomstock was to bring our community together. Okay. So we wanted to bring like-minded businesses that wanted to give back to the community and our earth, our very own backyard, the Back Bay. Yeah. We wanted to bring us all together and work together to have a sense of community, earth, music, art, all of the above, and raise money while doing it. Earth, music, and art. And, and of course, all of those are truly the backbones in the community. Now, uh, yes. Molly, now you are a licensed barber, I'm sure, because if you're not, too late, Matthew, <laughs> right? <laughs> so, so can you tell us, uh, like, what are the special techniques? Because the mullets have come from the 80s to now, right? So what are the special techniques that kind of start that modern day mullet? Uh, yeah, so I normally just start with, you know, the taper fade down here. Okay. Um, 
He wants that the shortest, and then I just start blending this part. Uh, that, oh, yeah, it looks good. Yeah, because normally if in the mullet, you want this nice and long. So yeah. you got to keep that long, but party still make the, sure. What is it? Party it's in the party in the back. Yes, straight business, business in the front, in the front. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, party yeah. in the back, and Matthew looks like a party. I can see the look on his face. Yeah, yes. don't don't be nervous, man. The hair is still there. <laughs> All right, so uh, Leah, what are some of the other uh, you know important things that that are coming uh, or that people can expect during the event? Okay, so at Bloomstock, we will be obviously cutting mullets yeah. right at the Bloom Beauty Bar tent. Um, we have the Wandering Makers, which will be doing the Fairy Hair Garden. They'll be putting fairy hair and feathers within the mullets. We'll, and that's not just for mullets, that's for everybody. We'll be raising money. We're gonna have uh, multiple food vendors from desserts to Clayton's Counter will be there. We are gonna have multiple musicians, local artists. So a lot of local artists are gonna be on stage. Ooh. We have two, sta two stages oh, nice. um, of music. And then we're also going to be having a community mural Mm -hmm. um, by Karina Elise, which is really exciting. So everybody will be able to put their little part in the community mural. Perfect, perfect. Well, you know what? We're going to let Molly continue because she's got a whole nother side to do. Uh, so uh, thank you so much for this information. And when we come back, we're actually we'll get a chance to see the finished product. Now, um, Leah clearly uh, is a pillar in the community and what she's doing, providing all of the resources. And recently, Ashley had a chance to visit with a company that's providing a, a, a very comfortable source in our bathrooms. Hey guys, I am at the Hampton Roads Home Show and I am so excited about one of the companies here. Source. Let's go find Thomas. Hey, 757. I am with my friend Thomas from Bass Source, and we are at the Hampton Roads Convention Center at the Hampton Roads Home Show. Can I say I'm not three times fast. Thomas, what do we have going on here? Well, what we've got is our display of both our walk-in showers and our walk-in tubs. Both have different reasons to be in your house. Both have aesthetically pleasing lines so that when you're putting them in your house, they're not only functional, but they look good and they're gonna increase the value of your home. What you got here, Ashley, this is a custom design. Okay. And what it is is you have subway tile on both the ends and what we call a gray line. And if you rub your hands on it, it feels like grout, but it's not. There's no grout on this product at all. So oh, you don't wow. ever, ever have to worry about cleaning grout again. That's oh. laser etched right into the panels. And then on the back wall, you have what's called a Roman block. And that Roman block is made from the same material that's okay. etched into the walls. So there's no grout there either. No grout anywhere in this shower. So, so you don't have to use bleach. You don't have to use gritty materials. You don't have to use soft scrub. You don't have to use comet. You don't have to use any of that stuff anymore. This literally cleans with a squeegee and soap and water. What we've also really got cool. is for comfort, we have a teak wood bench. This teak wood bench is blocked out into the walls within wood behind it. So this will hold 350 to 400 pounds. Wow. And then you've got custom shelves put up in the top. These are made from chrome. Okay. We can match your finish. We have chrome, we have matte black, we have oil rub bronze, we have brushed nickel. So we've got the finish to fix anybody's flavor. Oh my gosh. And What's this bar down here? Because I've never seen one of those. This is a great bar. This is for the ladies. This is a shave bar. Oh. So you can put your foot up and actually shave without Stop. losing your balance. That's really cool. What do you love the most about being out in the community at these home shows? I get to meet all these people that could be potential clients. Everybody that we meet, we want to spread the word. We love our products. We love what it is that we do. Right. We love how we help people obtain a better life. So me being able to meet all these people right in the beginning before they ever set an appointment with us, yeah. that shit brings joy to my heart. I love what we do. Right. Our culture loves what it is that we do so that we take care of the community. Hi. So while you were talking to that customer, I wanted to try this to see if it was comfortable. And it's so comfortable, I think I'm just gonna stay here while we talk about it. Okay. <laughs> now, okay, tell me what's going on. I know it's comfortable, but other than Very that. comfortable. Um, this is a lot of folks that have that are aging that want something that's safe 
you look around, when you got in, you've got the big bar to get in yep. to open and close the door. The door is easy to get in and out of. Yep, it You have was. a grab bar to help you get situated when you're there. Okay. You've even got a sprayer if you want to stand up and spray off when you're done. This happens to be an all chrome, which is what comes in our bathtubs. Okay. And then we've also got some other goodies like aromatherapy. I was, I was going to ask about that. So you can do aromatherapy while you take your bath. Correct. And you don't even have to use some kind of separate apparatus. Nope. You can pour it right into here and it'll, it'll, uh, you'll get the ambiance of your aromatherapy. Then you look around and you see the jets all the way around. You've got jets on your back. Ooh. You've got jets on your sides. You've even got jets on your feet down in the bottom. Very safe. It fills and drains very quickly. Okay. And the install takes up a normal size bathtub, what a normal size bathtub in your house would be. So this is only a 60 inch install. Now, do you have any other big events coming up? We have the Bodacious Bazaars coming up. We're doing both the spring and the fall this year. Okay. We're also gonna be at a couple of local food markets or farmer's markets, and then some various shows here and there. We just like to get the word out of who we are. Yeah, and I mean, you really do. It's easy to see that. It's easy to see just with the way you engage with customers. I love it. Thank you. Oh, hello there. Sorry, I was just taking a little rest. This bathtub is just so comfortable. If you have any needs for your bathrooms, make sure you hit up our friends at Bath Source. All right. Okay, so you saw me sitting in that tub, but my favorite part of the shower was also the seat. Because I mean, what's more relaxing than like sitting down I know, in the shower? And I also love the shaving bar. Yeah. What is smart because I think we all shave, you know, and mm -hmm. we always try to figure it out and hold oh, yeah. it in the air. I think that was amazing too. Try to I love take it. it back to my high school cheerleading days and balance on one <laughs> yes. foot. I saw you very know. comfortable there. <laughs> so now how about we will see the final product because Quincy is back to see the results. Quincy with you. Uh, I don't know why I have the urge to cut again. I, I thought I put the clippers down for good. You know what? Don't, don't, don't worry. I didn't do anything to Matthew's hair, but let's see the finished product. See how Molly hooked that up. Ooh, look at that. Let's see. All right. Yeah. And, you know, and the way she's turning your head to make you like, like, why do I got to snatch my head? No, it looks great. Great job to Molly uh, doing her thing. And we'll see a bunch of that yeah. out there, Jesse. So yes. thank you. So what are you, you doing now? You, you got feathers put, in your yeah, head? I'm going to put in a little flair for him. You know, I mean, at the mullet contest, it's all going to be about the flair. A so, flair. and of course a little attitude doesn't hurt. Okay. Um, yeah. I'm, just, I'm throwing some feathers here. Okay. And uh, we're so excited about Bloomstock. We cannot wait. Gotcha. Yeah. Now, now, now tell, tell us about some of the music acts that's going to be there, because I know y'all have some pretty decent acts, right? Yes. So we actually have The Hooks coming out to play with us. Okay. We've got Double Entendre, Faye okay. Kin, um, The Beekeepers, and so many more good, good musicians, local musicians, because that's what it's all about is the locals. That's right. No problem. And then uh, you, you guys were saying... Um, while we were watching the clip that there's like some important vendors that's out there, right? Like you don't have to say their names, but there it's just is, gonna be yeah. Simple. No, we're gonna have over thirty vendors up at the at the market, local vendors supporting local businesses. That's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. Well, we certainly thank you, both you and Leah and Matthew. Thank you. Thank you. And oh, Matthew. it's all about Matthew at, today. Yes, Matthew. <laughs> look at that. All right. Well, we are looking good, and uh, what we also want to do is go to commercial break because we want to look good doing some DIY stuff. So you guys stay right there. We'll be right back. Hey, um, do I like would I look good with oh. segment is brought to you by Exterior Source, providing all of your exterior remodeling needs since 1997. Welcome back to the coolest show in town. You know that our producers like to find things on social media and then have us do them. And today we're going to try a spring DIY. We also like to try to decorate our green room. It's very eclectic if you've ever seen it. It's a big that word. That's right. It's a, really it's a collection word. of random stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, we, the three of us are going to create an yes. amazing collection. So we're going to try a spring wreath today. Um, all you need is some stuff from the dollar store or Michael's. We have an, a blank wreath. Um, Q is going to be the cutter. 
And a, Patricia and I are going to kind of split decorating responsibilities. Somewhere okay. there's a mother Google bird who machine. is upset that her kids don't have a home. That Where is y'all get not this from? a nest. It looks just like Ooh. one. All right, Quincy, so I'm doing okay, so what now? Start. Quincy, you are You're gonna cutting. Start cutting. I'm cutting yes. with. Look, I got two so. choices here. I got some. Okay. I got some. And then I got some of these. Somebody <laughs> told Quincy that sound effects were fun. <laughs> All right, so Ooh, I'm cutting. Glue in my finger, yay. Uh, all right, so y'all both got some glue over there. And okay. how, how big of the pieces do you want? Because this is not what I get into, uh, okay? Do it yourself, that's what it's called, DIY, right? Yes. Um, <laughs> yeah, but you have to help. Well, no. So how many times, Quincy, you do things to decorate your home? Um, not often. Including Christmas? Oh, come on, <laughs> yes. Absolutely. We know that up for Christmas, One you thing, don't do much. Including, you know what? Did y'all set me up as a man that can't cut a little bitty? <laughs> Unbelievable. Okay. All right. So I need mm -hmm. to make sure I cut. Boom. All right. So. Okay, you are doing a great job. You're doing a great well, job, Quincy. Quincy. So I, I right. need a so round of applause for you. Can you get right. your garden or your house? No, so nice. you know what? Uh, my dog has destroyed any <laughs> option to so have any type have of garden. you blame Seven now? Uh, yes, uh, I'm going to blame him every single time. You, I thought you said previously that you're not a good gardener anyway. Well, I said that. So y'all know I have struggles with squirrels. Okay, <laughs> being in my yard. So I don't want to do anything that has to do with Mother Nature other than pick up Seven's number twos. Okay, does that make sense? All right, so that now. That is. Um, all right, so I got you about four of these. Materials. I need a longer one. Can you do a longer one? No. Okay. no. Why not? No, just use what it's I not going to be symmetrical. Now, okay. These. These, these Do we need DIY... to be symmetrical? I feel like art is not symmetrical. These well, DIY not all the projects. Time, but for me. Look, see, I got you. The projects? Yeah, no, it's a DIY. What are you like, doing? Yeah, just put that in, in your hair, because that'd be, because that'd be perfect uh, as it's in your hair. All right, and uh, Fantastic. see, uh, see, this is my problem. I am so. Do I look like a fairy princess? I am so ADD or ADHD that I'm not even paying attention to the oh. uh, thing. I'm just, so what are you doing, Quincy? Ashley, I know you have a garden. <laughs> what are you growing in the garden yes. this summer? So, you know, we're in Virginia where there mm -hmm. are, there's the beginning of spring, but then you have like the second coming of winter. Mm -hmm. um, so we wait until we're sure that it's gonna stay nice outside. Thanks, Quincy. Oh, um, yeah, before we get everything going in our garden because we don't want everything to freeze. But we're gonna be doing several different kinds of tomatoes. My favorite oh my is a gosh. cherry tomato called a sun sugar. It's a tiny orange cherry tomato and it is so sweet. A sun sugar. A sun sugar. And it grows really, really well in our zone here. Yummy. So it's perfect. Super organic, of course. Um, and then we're gonna do all different kinds of peppers, some spicy peppers, yeah. some here. sweet okay. peppers, some lunchbox sweet. peppers, some shishito peppers. I need these ones. Okay. I know. We if you right, don't so know what a shishito pepper is, so it's like spicy pepper roulette. He cares the thing. Okay. okay. Q, you are uh, terrible at cutting. Yes, well, you know, Quincy. I did, um, you didn't do it right. Like I need you. more stuff. All right. So, so here, here's the problem that I have, ladies. Um, I was cutting and I put my hand on this and now my hand is not Oh stuck. my God. So my hand is stuck Okay, let's show how far we went you, through. Oh my God, he's not kidding. Oh my gosh. No, uh, this is the center. Like at the He's not kidding. Like that. Like uh, you stuck Give me this. my hand on this. Okay. So this you can know, now guys, hang on the door with my face on it. <laughs> you know, guys, that we find this <laughs> idea yeah. on social media and speaking of social media, we spend so much time these days on social media and our mental health is important as much as our physical health. So that's why this video is so important. Let's get it. TikTok is destroying teens' mental health. Find out why and what to do about it. Short form content kicks our brains into overdrive to chasing dopamine, the brain chemical that goes wild when we expect a reward. And every time you chuckle at a TikTok, it's more dopamine. Even swiping past a dull moment keeps the dopamine flowing. This makes them struggle to focus on tasks requiring sustained attention, like reading or studying, basically anything that isn't moving too fast. And even in adolescents and teenagers, that frontal lobe is not really fully developed to about age 25. So the frontal lobe deals with our planning, objectivity, critical thinking skills, executive functioning, objectivity, our personality. Our brain operates on a use it or lose it principle. What we do repeatedly, our experiences, create longer, stronger pathways. 
So if I'm getting used to a 30 second learning bike, then I'm creating a pathway to where that becomes longer and stronger. Social media giants are taking notice, sort of. Platforms like TikTok are tossing in the occasional tip, urging teens to take a break. And over on YouTube Shorts, if you're under 18, they're turning off the autoplay feature and throwing in reminders to go outside. But I mean, here's the thing. These platforms are businesses and the more we scroll, the more cash flows in. So here's the solution. All right, so for younger kids, tap into the built-in screen time settings. And for the older teens, communication is golden. Discuss healthy boundaries and help them navigate and even review the screen time together. And of course, worst case scenario, you can always set household screen time limits on all the devices, you know, in your house, on the device and Wi-Fi that you're paying for. Remember, it's not about tech taking control. It's about us taking charge. So let's reclaim our focus and guide our teens towards a balanced digital journey. All right. Hey, thanks there, my man. Um, yeah. You know, mental health is so important. Like we find ourselves, Sabrina and I, with our daughter, just checking in every few months because she's into the TikTok. She's into all the social media stuff. We don't let her be on all the social media, but, you know, with children, um, they don't know what they don't know. All they know is what's in front of Did them. Did you so. know Ashlyn and Adrian are... Uh, Facebook kids messenger friends. There uh, are. How does she get on Facebook? <laughs> it was kids messenger. Oh, kids messenger. Huh. Not That's Adrian. Adrian right, is four Ashley. years old. Well, Let me find out. No, that, when yeah. we were setting up his fire tablet, it had us create him an account, and we saw a notification pop up that said, You and Apps are friends. And we were oh, like, Wow. What? Okay. Aww. Well, you know what? I got something <laughs> to talk to my child about when I get home. Well, I mean, the good news media. is he's three, so it's not like he's going to come pick her up for a date or something. <laughs> well, you know what? I didn't know you was going to go that far with it. Look. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what, what we will uh, also just keep in mind is that your mental health is very important. It is. Okay. Uh, doing projects like this mm -hmm. is what can help with your mental health. Look yes. how beautiful it is. Patricia, let me see. And actually, it. guys, we see, found the see, idea for this video, for this uh, in social media. Is Social media can be a great thing also if you know how to use it sometimes. Oh, for sure. You spend so much time there, there but uh, you have to have a break. You this have to be enjoy the prettiest DIY activities projects like we've ever these, done. You know? Yes, it's so beautiful. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. We got to take Thank a quick you. break, but when we return, this mess will be cleaned up and you get to see us three battle it out at trivia. Oh, I wonder it. who's going to win. Uh, <clears throat> no, 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 it didn't. No. Work. Welcome back to Live at 757. Ladies, I don't know if you noticed, but uh, trivia nights are very popular right here in the 757. Yes, they are. Yep. yep. Now, our next guest, uh, he's with a company called Bar Trivia Live, and they put on a lot of those fun trivia nights for you guys to enjoy. So we're happy to welcome him to the show. Let's welcome John Stacy to Live at 757. What is happening, John? How are you? Hi, it's Sean, if you don't mind. Oh, you did that say John? It's Sean. I'm sorry, it's, uh, That's okay. Like Sean John, you know. I'm, I'm, I'm joking. So you're not going to get all okay. the answers right. Here we go. <laughs> Sean. 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 I got it. I got it. See, the song, that was my trivia. I messed up. That's See, all right. maybe question. I pronounced it right this time. Sean. Sean. So um, I understand that you have some trivia questions for us. And, uh, you know, I just want you to know we are very competitive here. Okay? I'm excited. Uh, so just, I hope you're ready. I okay? hope you're ready. Well, oh. Yeah. Woo. Right. Me we? too. All right, you're let's ready. Go. We're going to go straight to the game. We're going to start right we got now. our buzzers. We're good. Okay. Yes. Test they're them out. They're working. Yes. Awesome. All right, question one. Okay. The Academy Awards famous firsts. What was the very first animated feature film to be nominated for the Best Picture Category Award? Years later, they would have a Best Animated Feature Film, but what was the first animated movie to be nominated for the grand prize of Best Picture at the Academy Awards? Toy Story 1. Incorrect. Incorrect. It was worth a shot, um, Sean. Nobody else? Okay. Um, Just, come on, ladies. What do you think? The Lion King. No, you're in the right decade. Aladdin. No. Beauty and the Beast. And the, and the Beast. That's exactly, Beauty and the Beast. Yeah. That's exactly what I was oh. about to Nicely say. I should know that. <laughs> Nicely done. All right, how about this? Let's go a little Broadway. Okay, like Broadway? let's go. Okay, let's do it. All right. That is not Broadway. What Broadway <laughs> musical uh, that went to film twice is inspired by William Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet? 
Tell what me. Broadway musical that was put to film twice was inspired oh. by Romeo and Juliet? You know what? I'm a double down. Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> Good guess. Okay, that was worth a shot. No. What do you think? Hairspray. No. Good guess. <laughs> One last. Hamilton is too new. No. I no. Um. Um. What? Um, uh, it was nominated twice. It's on film twice. Oh. West Side Story. Perfection. Oh, Nicely done. Go. Yes. Most uh, recently by Steven uh, Spielberg. Yes. yes absolutely. Great Steven. job. All right, how about this? Video games for us. Oh, you know. Okay. What early computer game was designed to teach students the pioneer life in the early 19th century? Oh. What? Back to my Oregon Trail. Perfection. Yeah, <laughs> Oregon Trail. Absolutely. Look, look, let me unbutton my jacket. Is it time? We've got to get a little loose here. Yeah, I mean, you got your See, jacket unbuttoned. Quincy, <laughs> I have to. We always knew that three is going to be for us. Okay. All right. Couple more. Let's keep yes, going. Let's All right. Keep going. So, life hacks. Let's talk about life hacks for you. Ooh. Despite the technological advances with the cassette tape, what everyday office item you could use to rewind it? I know this because I'm the oldest one on the stage. A a a pen. A or and. A pencil. Perfect. Pencil. Yeah. Hey, yeah. The, yeah. The grooves of the pencil. Perfect there for you that go. life hack. And now Absolutely. you can play again. <laughs> All right. How about a little golf, yeah. champions? Are we okay. good golf? Yep. Let's go. All right. In 1986, mm. what golfer, actually considered to be one of the greatest of all time, captured his sixth Masters title? Oh, um, the one with the pants. The, the one with the pants. Girl, everybody. In 1986. <laughs> we know anybody's not playing golf. Yep. Pants. What golfer, considered to be one of the greatest of all time, um, won their sixth Trump oh, Masters yeah. title? Jack. Jack. Nicholas. Son. Yes, perfect. Yes. Nicholson. Nicholas. <laughs> Nicholas. Got it. Nicholas. Perfect. Okay. So two and two. Yeah. yeah. Two and two. It's a tight. No. I gotta find one for you. Terrible for me. All right. How about this? You have to do music. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm not, okay. Well, how about this? Okay. In 2015, who messed up and announced the wrong winner oh. of the Miss oh. Universe pageant? Stephen Harding. God dog, it's <laughs> There you go. I knew you were right there for you. Perfect. Yeah, I'm more like a new stuff. If All you go right. back in the time. All right. <laughs> Let's stick in the sports room again. A little girl fight. All right. How about this? What two female ice skaters? I'll give you the points if oh, you just oh, list oh, one. Oh. The, the whack heard around the world. Tanya Harding Nancy and Nancy Kerrigan. Nancy Kerrigan. Yes. No. Half, point Half point each. Half point each. All right. All right. All right. Now, this is for the championship, dog. Come for on. the championships? <laughs> okay. This is for you guys. All right. For the songs. You ready? Okay. Oh. Name for me a song. That's a well-known song, but it talks about a lot of women, including Monica, Erica, Mama number five. Rita, and Tina. <laughs> Mama number five. Yes. I'm Good. About say, I'm about to say Sir Mix a lot. No. No. <laughs> Mama number five. I'm completely off. Nicely done. What was our score here? Well, two and a half. Two and a half. She, no, she did four. Two, Four. one. She, okay. she, she won. So, so now let's interview you, yes, Sean. No, right, let's enough. ask you some questions about. Right. We love trivia games and trivia nights. And how long you been doing this? And where can people find these trivia? Sure. Uh, so I'm at Bar Trivia Live on Facebook, uh, Instagram, all the handles for us. I've been playing since it became popular in 2010. I became nice. a host in 2012. Hey, and awesome. I bought the company in 2015. So oh, I yes. love it. Yes. I've been, I'm enjoying it. It's a lot of fun. Yes. Yes. Well, I can Pratt. see that. Okay, last question. What are your most popular trivia nights? Ooh, okay. Well, the one that just really took me out was Taylor Trivia Night. Taylor Swift. Absolutely. We were packed. Nice. But the usual themes are like Disney. Uh, let's see, uh, the holiday trivia is always great. Spooky Ooh. trivia is always fun. Uh, but they're a lot of fun. I try to do if anything that's kind of fun in the moment of pop culture. I try to align it around there so we can kind of cross market and have a lot of fun. Hey, we nice. love thank it. You, well, man. thank you so much, Sean, for being with us today. I appreciate and it. And play with us at this trivia game. We love it. So now I have another trivia question for Quincy. Quincy. What's up? Do you know actually who to actually cut up with? I don't know. Oh, so then check this video. <laughs> All right, I'm here with Andrew Hypes. For those of you who have been living under a rock, he is now Justin Timberlake's tour DJ. And you are from Virginia. I am. Waynesboro. Waynesboro, Virginia. All right, so I went to school up there. I went to school Mary Baldwin. Uh -huh. And my husband and I and my co-host Quincy and I always have this argument. Is it Stanton or is it Staunton? It is definitely Stanton. <gasps> Thank you. Well, that's that's how Validate. that's how we say it, Stan. All right, now you have been DJing for a long time. Yes, ma'am. And you have DJed kind of extensively in the 757. Oh, Where yeah. are your favorite places to play here? 
Oh my goodness. Uh, in the 757, sheesh. I love Central. I used to play it uh, Chemistry. Okay. A long time, uh, a while ago. I loved Chemistry. I played Beach House. Uh, I've been fortunate enough to play the, is it still the Veterans Home Loan Amphitheater? Yep, is the still? Veterans United Home okay, Loans so, Amphitheater. It's so, a very wordy title. Yeah, so I, I got to play there uh, a couple times for Shagfest. Um, but yeah, I would say those are probably my favorite out here. All right, now mm -hmm. let's let's get to the meat of this. Okay. You're touring with Justin Timberlake. Yes, ma'am. How did that happen? Uh, the president of his label and I have a mutual friend and essentially one day they were together in LA and he asked if he knew of any DJ producers and my friend referred me and the rest was history. That is so cool. It's, and, a, it's a little mind blowing. Yeah. Still, for sure. And you're in a group text with him and his wife. Oh, yes. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I've been teaching their, I was teaching their son DJing lessons at rehearsal. Oh my goodness. Uh, which is still, yeah, it's crazy. I'm fangirling in my head right now. It's crazy. They're they're so sweet. Uh, the whole the whole situation is is still obviously mind blowing to me. But right. um, yeah, I got to teach their son some some little DJing lessons uh, while we were at rehearsal in L.A. last week. Nice. So that was cool. Okay, so you brought up L.A. So now I have to ask you about it. You brought in sync out on the stage. I did get to bring in sync out during our set. How crazy did that crowd go in person? Because I saw it via social media, but how crazy was it in person? It was so deafening. Oh my god! I you couldn't even hear the music once <laughs> once they once the curtains opened, you could hear no more music. Oh yeah, for sure. Like it was deafening. It was so loud. Um, but again, a mind blowing experience. You right. Know? Like when I tell you it was loud, it was. The music might as well have stopped at that point. Oh yeah. It was crazy. Did you get to hang out with them? Uh, not not necessarily hang out. You know, we got to rehearse a few days, okay, which was cool. So, I got to to briefly chop it up with a couple of the guys. Okay. JC, uh, I talked to JC. I got to talk to Chris. Um, okay. So it was it was really cool. Yeah. Nice. Mm -hmm. Well, what is your favorite part about touring with someone like Justin? Uh, well, doing these one-off shows, I think one of the biggest things for me is is the value of family that his his camp kind of has yep. everybody is very welcoming i love and, that um, and so personable so that that's made my life really really easy working with them for sure awesome well i am going to put you on the spot right now okay um because i'm kind of bold okay um i really want to come to a show i will do everything i can to make that happen we have you saying that on video Okay. Okay. I'm just going to like point that out there. Now, where can people follow you and your journey with Justin? Uh, everything is at Andrew Hypes, H Y P E S. Well, thank you for visiting the 757 and thank you for taking part in the coolest show in town. Thank you so much. <laughs> and you have to take us with you. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's the answer. You, you got to take us to with see you. Justin Timberlake. Uh, I yeah. mean, you know what? I, I took a note out of your book, Pew. You I, did it to Master P. I was like, yeah. I can definitely do it for Justin Shoot Timberlake. Shoot your <laughs> shot when you have an opportunity. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh, that's so cool and great. And great interview. Yeah, it looked like I, you were comfortable. Oh, yeah. You know, I don't you know what you time. had in that cup. Uh, mm -hmm. We don't. Water. We cannot say what she water. really I'm has. Water. I'm old. Okay? Water, of oh, course. Yeah, Every time that she's working, she just have water. Oh, no, Do you believe that? And you were at the ocean front, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Nice, we nice had to. Backdrop. We had to go to him. He had a gig that night. So when is the tour for Justin Timberlake? Is it in July? Um, it starts, I think, next month in May, and it's a world tour. So it goes all the way through. The DC show is in October, and I think oh, it wow. goes even past. And that. how proud we can feel, like, a, you know, she, he's going with us, Justin Timberlake, it's to all so around the world, cool. from Virginia from right to here. the world. Right. Yes, nice. I love it. Nice. So now, well, he's from he's from Waynesboro, so he's from the western part of the state. Okay. Um, actually right next to where I went to college. So that was oh, cool in, too. Uh, Stanton? Oh, that's yeah. cool. In Stanton, exactly. Got dog and I thought it was Stanton. See, you knew uh -huh. it. <laughs> oh, 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 I and said I, it right. I told him too when I asked, I said, my husband and my co-host both think it's Stanton. Is it Stanton or Stanton? He goes, Stanton. All right. That is amazing. All that music going on. Well, now that you actually bring the music on, we have to go to commercial break, but coming up next, we have a great, great local performance. Uh, one culture. One culture is going to be performing live, so don't go anywhere. You distract me with your music, Quincy. <laughs> no, 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 no.
Welcome back to Living 757. <laughs> Guys, today has been so much fun. Oh, I know. <laughs> oh, allergy oh, no. seasons. Okay. Um, <laughs> Why why aren't you using the dab? Or why are we still using she the She covered hand? herself. It doesn't matter. You dab <laughs> on the sneeze. You, you, you don't I chew into your hand. It's I nasty. chew. Right. I didn't chew into my hand. Come I chew it into my cards. Do you want them? Uh, no, I don't <laughs> want them. Uh, this is information that you guys may want to know. You may okay. not be aware of. Uh, Virginia Beach is on the list of the top ranked cities that deal with allergies. Now, asthma and allergy, the, the Asthma and Allergy Foundation of America. Okay, that's AAFA. Okay, hey, hey, just hey, in hey. case y'all wanted to know. They have named uh, Virginia Beach one of the top cities for dealing with uh, allergies, and I think allergies. my dog, even though we, we live in P-Town, um, my dog is one of those. Uh, uh, raise your hand if you're not shocked. <laughs> well, so I saw, I'm one of those, every season. Season. I'm one of those because I, I suffer from asthma and I have bronchitis, uh -huh. and it's been two months, and I've been going to the doctor, and I cannot yeah. get rid of it. But you can't help, so. I mean... Yeah, I'm the part rain, of the, the, the statistic from Virginia it's, Beach. It's been some good rain that's coming in the area, but when it doesn't rain and when it's dry, oh my gosh, it, it is it like is. Uh, <laughs> the pollen is everywhere, and mm -hmm. it's just hard to like. You just want to like you ever wanted to ride with your? Um, uh, oh well, we've got a map that's on the screen right yep, now. Yeah, we're seeing right and now. It's that actually it. showing the hot spots, the most, and, yep. and if you look at the far right. It looks like three of them are in Virginia. <laughs> right, yeah, <laughs> it's like right there. Like, that is wild. Uh, Virginia Beach is in second place. Yeah, the most Virginia Beach is number cities. two. The most yep. challenging cities for people that deal with allergies. You know, and Richmond um, also and looking is at that, a lot of cities in California are on the least challenging allergy side. Do you and know why? I can concur with that. Mm -hmm. What do you mean, do I know why? No, I don't know why, <laughs> but I know that my allergies are worse here than when yeah. I was living in California. Yeah. Same. Yeah. yeah, I know like when I come back from a cruise, anytime I come back and come back home, that's when it, it, it's like, Quincy, did you pick up something? Be like, Let no, me I, clear I, my throat. I, pick, <laughs> I picked up Virginia again because yep. of all the allergies yes. just kind of peaked right back It happens to me the same mm -hmm. thing. Every time that I come back to Virginia, I start Sneezing and have all and my oh. asthma is, is coming back all the time and then stays for a month or so, sometimes two, three months, and I cannot get rid of it. You remember like I had bronchitis a couple months back oh, yeah. and it turned into pneumonia. pneumonia. Yeah. yeah. Woof. Yeah. Like, wow. Well, you only know, me. luckily we didn't have any of our guests that dealt with any allergies yes. on today's show. Thank you to all the guests uh, in the trivia game. Congratulations on the victory. Yes, I was, you I win was again. right there. She always wins. I was right there. <laughs> I was right there. So, uh, but yeah, uh, thank you guys and we appreciate you guys for yes, tuning in Yes, don't forget again. to follow us on our social media, Instagram, Facebook, under Living757. And if you have any ideas for a segment, you can always send those to the email at the bottom of your screen. Share at living 757 Dot com. We really love to hear yes. your ideas. We want to talk to you guys. Um, the show is about the 757. So yes. give us all you got. If you want to be part of us, just come on. Come on down. <laughs> okay, so now you're just inviting everybody to come on. Everybody, come on. yes. Oh, all, right. all right, well, we're going to have them knocking at our doors next, right? <laughs> just like these next music artists. Yes, One Culture is performing right, at, right now. So see you next week, guys. Deuces. <laughs>
For music in my life, I only see it as a distraction. Love is for everyone, but you must not grow and find your lost soul. Then love in the world, I made some mistakes because I was so blind. I kept going back to、so、ensure、sure、all things were fine. Learn to love the bad times, 'cause it's all a mountain journey. And once you know that. Reflection and start a march on you. Make a solid connection. 